what is up guys how's everybody doing i am tiff welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome make sure you're subscribed so you know when all my future readings come out this is going to be a general reading it's not going to resonate for everybody take what resonates leave what doesn't don't force it to fit if you would like a personal all that information's in the description box can you guys hit that like button for me it definitely sends an energetic donation my way let's see spirit just want to say thank you guys so much for the love and support I definitely be reading the comments. I definitely see y'all's donations, the gifts that you guys send. You guys been keeping my um my wish list just empty. I appreciate that shit. I appreciate y'all for real. Let's get the divine masculine's energy, spirit, ancestors, and guides. Let's see just what's going on here, spirit. Destiny. I am struggling to find the right path. Commitment. I want you to be a part of my future and unappreciated. I felt like you didn't care. So, um, I feel like whoever you're dealing with, they are definitely, um, struggling to find their right path. This person is almost like, this person could be kind of lost and confused, you know, they could be older, but still really don't have a way in life, like they never established a good job, never got a house, you know, they're still trying to figure out which way they should go in life, what they want, you know, what are they destined, it's almost like this person always questions, like, where their place is in the world, okay, but the problem is that you guys are destined to be together, okay? And this person ultimately, even though they struggle to find the right path, and they feel, this person really feels like a fuck up. Like, they just, they really do. They feel like they're a fuck up, okay? Um, and this person does ultimately want to commit to you. They want you to be a part of their future. It's almost like whatever they're destined for, they want to be a part of it with you. They want you to be a part of their future. Um, but there's a problem here when it comes to unappreciated. It's almost like somebody felt unappreciated or felt like you didn't give a damn. And this person could have felt like you didn't give a damn maybe because they didn't have as much, okay? Um, if not, this is the other way around. This is you that feels felt unappreciated by this person and feels like they didn't care. And it's because it's like even though this person wants this commitment, they see you in their future. When this, this person being sure of their, their own path and their own destiny causes conflict within this connection. And so maybe it seemed like while they're trying to search for their own path and, you know, where they're supposed to be going in life, they didn't give you the attention that you deserved. And so it made you feel very unappreciated because, like I said, they could have had less than where you're always there for this person. You make sure they got a roof, that they eat, you know, you do everything for this person. And so when they try to figure out which way to go in life, you know, and they pull back from you it makes you feel like they just don't give a damn but that's not the case here spirit is saying it's not that they don't want you and they don't appreciate you this person truly appreciate they know without you they ain't got a motherfucking thing this person truly appreciates you truly loves you they definitely want you in their future but uh, at the same time they're trying to find their own path and so that's what spirit wants you to know it's not that they don't appreciate or love you it's not that they don't want you in their future that they don't want to be with you it's that they're unsure of their own path in their own future okay you know they if you're especially if you're on your shit and you're you're thriving and they're not they want to be able to match your energy and so when they can't, that makes them feel low vibrational and down. And then they have to fulfill that in other ways, okay? Let's see, spirit. What else is going on? Overwhelmed. The stress from this is draining me. Yeah. So this masculine, I'm telling you, whoever this is, they feel very overwhelmed. And I don't even feel like it's just the situation. I feel like maybe... <clears throat> They're on their ass, right? And so that causes stress because they're you're financially, you know, pulling everything together, right? So, of course, when there's financial stress, there could be some kind of um, arguments within the connection, especially when it's like one person's doing everything, the other person's on their ass. It's like, okay, it's time for you to get your shit together, right? Um, I feel like that overwhelms this person, too. I feel like this person could suffer from depression at times where they just feel very low vibrational. Um, I think the stress from this connection is really draining, not, is not draining them. The stress of them trying to find their path and what 
their destiny is, is what's stressing them. Like they want to be accomplished. They want to be somebody that you respect here. You know what I'm saying? Time. I'm afraid it's too late to take action. Um, so maybe this person is like they've been just um comfortable with not having shit for a long time, right? This could be one of those people like they always relied on women in their life to take care of them. They were always content not having shit, driving their baby mama cars and shit like that, you know, while she at work being Jody. I hate you, Jody, right? This person could have always, you know, be content with that. But then they got with you. And there's something about your energy that has caused this person to be like, no, I'm not content being a motherfucking bum no more. I'm not content being a bottle of the barrel. I got to get my shit together. I got to find my path. I got to I gotta energetically motherfucking level up here, right? And even if you were doing bad, there's something where the universe motherfucking always comes through and blesses your game. And it's because of your heart, your hustle, your soul that you have, right? So this person could have been comfortable for a long time, you know, not having their shit together, relying on other people. But now there's something about your energy. You know, that's what the twin flame does. It causes you to level up. It causes you to want to better yourself. But they feel like now it's too late to find their path, to find their destiny, to level up, to get on your level. They also feel like even if they were to level up now, that you would still not respect them or see them in that light, right? unsatisfied yeah I wasn't happy the way things were going and that's what I'm saying I feel like this is this is this person's energy before where they would be content in certain situations and satisfied and cool with the with relying on other people I feel like this person sees your struggle they see what you go through they see that you're like unconditionally there for them it's almost like you're the type of person that could have fifty dollars in your pocket and somebody not know it and need it and you give it to them and they don't even know it's your last because you love this person like that, you know. But this person was tired of, I'm telling you, they weren't happy with the thing, way things were going. Something about your connection changed in them where they're not content being um, having the, the less. You know, they're not content relying on somebody else. Uh, they're not happy having you motherfucking pull all the weight and then motherfucking do the bare minimum. Even though it seemed like that, nah. And this is what threw them into that low vibrational energy. And then when they get in that low vibrational depressed energy... They don't have the motivation to do shit. So it's like a cycle. You know what I'm saying? They were tired. Okay. And with confusion, I feel unclear about where we stand. Um, this person could be confused about this relationship, about where they stand with you. Um, probably because they have tried to pull back. Okay. Let's see though. Let's see what else we got. What else is going on with this divine masculine spirit? Ancestors and wives. What else is going on with the divine masculine spirit? Every love song sounds like us. So, this masculine is definitely jamming, okay? And hopefully it's not super gremlin that they're jamming to. You switch like a fucking little bit, okay? Hopefully that's not from my <laughs> no, I'm just playing, okay? But definitely every love song that they hear, it's like they're here a slow jam, they're reminded of you. I just started hearing, baby, I deserve for you to go out and find some other guy. Baby, I deserve for you to stay out with them all night. Baby, I deserve for you to do all the things I did to you. Baby, I deserve. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> hmm. For you to put on that sexy dress. For me to ask you who the hell you trying to impress. Hey, for you to laugh it off like it ain't nothing. I know it's something. Okay, I can't sing y'all, but just hang in with me, okay? Ready to take control and lead. And this is what I'm saying. This is a problem with this masculine. We not just pulling in, you know, feelings and shit. 
we trying to see what's going on with the masculine within himself. You know what I'm saying? And this is something that's going on within this masculine. He's ready to take control and lead. It's almost like you, you might have been the breadwinner. You might have had all this shit together. So you control, you know, you had all the control. You lead that relationship. But no, this person is ready to motherfucking walk a mile in your shoes. They're ready to get their shit together. They're ready to get a good job and be financially stable and you know be somebody that you can respect this is a thing I feel like there's a lot of respect lost from like it's almost like if this person if you who you're dealing with got their shit together then this ain't your story I feel if some has resonated take the parts that is but whoever this is they really are the bummy and they were content with having like nothing like living on mama's couch until they get a girl all that shit like and, and this person is like they're they're ready to lead. They're ready to take take control of their life and become financially stable and independent. You know. ready willing and able they're ready for this connection they're willing to change um and they're able okay um they're tired of wearing this false mask like they're okay like they're content with how they've been living okay but this red person is definitely ready for this connection they're ready to step up and do what it takes to prove that there's somebody that you um should want to be with and want to spend your time with um, but the problem is, it's like this person does, they pull back their energy and it's not because they, they don't want to be with you. Cause it says they, they see you in their future. It's because they don't know, um, about their own goals, their own life, where, where, where themselves, you know, it's, it's, they can always look at you in, in their future and be like, okay, where are we going? And then you just pull all the weight. They're tired of that. They're ready to find their own path so that they can branch out and they can pull their weight and y'all can come together as a power couple, right? Um, this person might not let on, but it's very, I'm telling you, it's very depressing to this person. Whenever they get that motivation, 12-12, when I look down, whenever they get that motivation, they pull back. They start to get depressed. They start to think about how they ain't got their shit together. And then they get depressed and lack the motivation vicious cycle vicious vicious cycle here with this masculine okay now let's see what else is going on with this masculine here spirit ancestors and guides i regret my past mistakes and wish i could have another chance with you so whatever this person did, they definitely regret what the things that they put you through, the mistakes they made. I feel like this person definitely regrets their past mistakes even before you, where they got content relying on other people. Um, it's almost like they've changed. They want to show you that they actually want something out of life and they want something different. And they wish that they can have another chance with you to show you like that's just shit that they, you know, that they done for so many years that they got comfortable doing that. And when they came into your energy, you push them to want to be different. And even though they might've been content with not having shit for while they were with you, you push them to want to change. And now they want to show you like, Hey, I can be what you want. I can, you know, I can be a breadwinner. I can meet you halfway. Okay. My heart was blocked. I was not available to see to receive your love when I gave it. And this person, I feel like their heart was blocked because they're unsure of their own destiny, of their own journey. So it's like you're over here giving this unconditional love, loving the shit, <laughs> shit out of them. But they feel like they cannot match that energy because, you know, how can I give love when I don't love myself? I should have listened to my intuition. They should have motherfucking just worked on this situation and accepted that love and used your, and, and I hate to put it this way, but they could have used your good energy to build up. They might have done that. They could have used your good energy to build themselves up and then ghost you, build, use your good energy and then leave you drained, right? When their intuition was telling them to stick with you and stick with this situation and they'll get the universe will bless them with everything that they want and desire. You are always in my dreams. Yeah, this person is definitely dreaming about you. They're getting downloads about you. 
Let's see what else is going on with this masculine spirit, ancestors and guides. What else is going on with this masculine at this time? Spirit. Transformative. This love will be love deeply transformational for something new and powerful to emerge. I'm telling you, I've said that this whole reading is that there's something about your energy that caused this person to change. And this love that you give is deeply transformational for something new and powerful to emerge. So I feel like, yeah, this person might have been down on their luck, bummy, not have their shit together. But through your energy and the changes that they're making, it's making way for something new and powerful. Like they're not going to be the same person. They're going to have this powerful energy. They're like, they don't even see how powerful they can be. And this is really sad, you know? This person thinks down on themselves a lot. Marriage. You will either take your relationship to the next level or you will get married. There is so much to celebrate. And I feel like as they get their shit together, they're going to start feeling themselves. They're going to come out of that low vibrational depression. All of that. And they're going to be ready for this because it says, I want you to be a part of my future. No matter what they have going on, they see you in their future. So guess what's coming? That marriage, that commitment, everything that you've dreamed for. There's a lot to celebrate coming. Be open. Be open. Okay? All right. That's what I have for you guys. If that resonates at all, comment below. Let me know. Until next time, loves. Peace.